guys, it's Sarah. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make some of these bracelets. So I have a couple of these to show you. It's really the main one I was given to. This one I was given to, this is a fish tail one. It's so cool and like, there's like a million rubber bands here. It's so thick. But she used like a lot. Like, so much. She's so pretty and so cute. And like, yeah. And then these are the two I made. There's a rainbow one. And here's this one. Just black, white, and pink. And then the rainbow one. Sometimes I feel like you can't do the twister, so you just have to just play around with it. So, yeah, I gave them away to my grandma and my friends. Just because I didn't like want them all. So I only have three right now. But I'm going to be showing you how to make more right now. So this is the little package that like all the rubber bands came in, like all the connectors, and the directions. So we have directions here, instructions for single grow bracelet. So it kind of shows you how to do it. Yeah, that's always helpful, but I have all my red bands in here. They're only red, black, yellow, and green, but that's fine. That's all I need. So I already kind of started on one, but I just kind of took it all apart because I want to show you guys how you're supposed to do this. So, yeah. Um, and you can find like these little bracelet, I mean rubber band things with the connectors at like CBS. Wall going to like a dollar ninety nine. I just got mine last night. So you have like a little S connector. Okay. It's like an eight kind of number, but what you do? You find an open space and you get your own band. It doesn't have to be any color, and like you're making it as thin. And you don't want any of it to be like tangled up. Because if it is, it will just look so crappy. So then you just keep taking another color and you just keep on going and going and going. So yeah, just keep going. Then you'll find out what you have. But take your time on these. I mean, you don't want to be like rushing through them. Take your time and make it actually look nice. You, you can look at these. That's like three minutes. But once you like get the hang of it, it's really fast and like simple and easy. But these are like they're so fun to make. I mean, you can sell them for like twenty five to a dollar. Make a little money off it. I mean, that's what I'm gonna start doing. Once I get the loom to do the fish tail. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. It sounds like a great idea. I mean, it would be so fun to do. And I did that one year, but it was with duct tape. To where you... Me and my friend were selling duct tapes. So it was for my brother for his IDs. And you guys may have seen my other first account. I think it was this account or my first account that I had. But my first account, I think I got hacked. So... Somebody changed the password, and it just got me very upset because I have a lot of subscribers. I have about, well, it's not a lot, but it's kind of a lot to me because I've never had a YouTube account like that before. The first one, I got, like, 20 subscribers, and I made this one not too long ago, but, like, well, I made it a long time ago, but I only have four subscribers and only 625 views. And before I had like 2,000, 3,000 views and 20 subscribers. So that was an exciting moment. You want to keep on like kind of holding it up just to see like where you're at with it. I mean, I think like right about now would be that's a lot of rubber bands. So, well, let's add a couple more. Um, but yeah, just try to even. Alright, I think that this will be good right about now. So, 
here we go. And we are officially done with our bracelet. Look at that. That looks so cool. So yeah, you guys can really make anything out of them. You guys can also look up on here, like the bigger, thicker ones. They're way cooler than the ones I'm making right now. I mean, it's like, it's just beyond sick. I love it. And I think they're so fun to make. But once I start get to get the loom thing, I will definitely show you guys how to do it, how to step and how to do the shell. So hopefully I'll have...